Can life, your life, change in an instant? Can one life change the lives of billions? Answers to those questions on today's edition of Health Spice Alive Show. And the show begins now. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Mario, your show host here at HSL. And today we're going to be talking about things that change your life and can they actually change your life and the lives of billions. Our story today starts with the life of Suzanne. And before we go into the details of her life, let's just take a quick look at what has happened in medicine for the past 50 years. Many advances have taken place, but I find that none of them are more significant than to be able to go into the body in a way that is what's called minimally invasive. You see, traditionally, many, many years ago, the way that things used to be done, when we did not know as physicians what was going on inside the body and we didn't have the technological advantages and advances of the world of radiology or diagnostic imaging, surgeons had no choice but essentially to do what's called an explore exploratory surgery. In other words, to open up the body and go in to figure out what the problem was. All of those advances and the changes in techniques and the changes in how we look at the body with medical imaging have allowed us to be able to find what are the diseases that are in the body so that we can create less harmful impact in the body and by the same token be able to create positive impact on health. That led to the creation of many different instruments such as laparoscopic surgery and what comes with that and also modern day robotic surgery. But all of those different surgical techniques and medical techniques they require other devices that are necessary so that whatever we do to the body, the body can have its healing process. And that led to the creation of what's called catheters, which are it's a sophisticated word, if you will, for specialized tubings that allow fluids to come out of the body. But when we take any fluid out of anywhere, just like working in your, in your house's basement, let's say that it's flooded and you take, need to take the water out, that needs to go somewhere. So we have medical drainage bags or surgical drainage bags. When that happens, that created another problem. And that brings me to the story of Suzanne. Suzanne was one of my patients some years back, 50 year, 57 years old. And one of the things that had happened to Suzanne, she had cancer in her female reproductive organs. And that led to multiple surgeries that required her to have special tubes in her kidneys because her bladder had to be removed. Suzanne's story is not isolated. Millions and millions of people in here in the United States alone undergo surgical procedures that require the utilization, the application of medical drainage catheters and drainage bags. But you see, something happened the moment that she was diagnosed and she had the surgeries that absolutely changed her life in an instant, forever. But then when I actually intervened with her, something happened to me because of her that changed my life. One day, she had come for one of her surgeries that I would perform on her on a routine or regular basis, putting these catheters and bags. And after the procedure was done, she said to me the following, Dr. Mario, I just need to tell you something. You know what's the worst thing about my cancer? And I have to confess to the audience, I didn't know what to answer. She said to me, Doctor, look at me. Look what you've done to me. Every time that you put these bags and those catheters in me, essentially you take my freedom and my life away. The moment that Susan said that to me, it completely changed my life because it put my, my profession and everything that I was doing up to that point with her, supporting her life pretty much in judgment and rightfully so because all of the hundreds of millions of people that undergo medical procedures that have drainage bags every year, they don't know where to put these items, these bags. They're afraid that if they move, their catheters will come out, that other complications will happen in their life. Suzanne's life was changed. She changed my life when she essentially pinned me against the wall and told me this, rightfully so, like I said. And that actually changed me to such an extent that a solution had to be created about this and that started a personal journey of mine to support billions of people around the world with this particular problem of drainage bags and catheters. And that led to the creation of this particular device that we see on the mannequin, which is called Freedom Belt. And rightfully so, because that's exactly what this device does. It allows patients to safely carry drainage bags and catheters where they have one 
or they have up to eight bags like some people in hospitals. So they can gain their freedom back, they can move again and not be in fear every single day of their lives that their bags and catheters are going to fall off and they'll have to go back to the hospitals for more surgeries, for more operations that have complications and problems in themselves. You see, many people subscribe to that philosophy that people don't change, that life doesn't change, and I will propose to you today that in fact life can change just in an instant. And that the life of one person and the impact that they can have in you, that they can have in me, like Suzanne had it in me, can be so powerful that that gets you going to create things, to impact others, whether it's through your work, through your words, through your support, to change the lives of those others. That's how big movements begin. That's how big changes take place in the planet. So today in this edition of Health Spice and Life Show, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to Susan for the impact that you had in my life. Secondly, I want to share the great news that for the first time ever, anywhere in the medical world, not only the United States, but also internationally, we have the arrival of Freedom Belt, which will give people their freedom back. It will allow them to move back again. They will allow them to regain their life and be able to get that freedom that they so deserve that we have not been able to give to them for decades since the inception and the arrival of drainage catheters, bags, and minimally invasive techniques. Lastly, today we want to remember a dear friend of the show, United Artists and their famous 007 agent, Sean Connery, who recently passed. And we are sending our thoughts and prayers to the family, and we keep him very dear in our hearts and our memories because of his impact and the contribution to the world of entertainment and to the art of acting. As I always like to say at the beginning and the end of this show, I am Dr. Mario saying to you, from my heart, to your heart, a tu salud. Here is to your freedom. See you next time.